today, I want to... What is this? <laughs> what am I trying to be today? Yo, did you guys know that you can set your brows with bar soap? I haven't tried before, so I really want to try it today with you guys. I've always just used brow gel, a brow powder, that's what most people use, right? But apparently you can save money on those brow gels and use a bar soap. It's been used for such a long time in Hollywood and special effects makeup. So, um, I found a bar soap in my bathroom. I have a couple, but they're all white bar soaps. Apparently clear works better, I read, but hey. I only have this, so we're gonna work. We're gonna work with it, and um, we'll see how it goes. So bar soap, a spoolie. This is the Anastasia Brow Wiz. It's an empty one, but I always keep these because they have excellent spoolies, and also something to wet your spoolie with. Whether it's you just want to dampen it at the sink, or you can spray it, things like that. Okay, let's get started. I'm gonna pull you in, zoom, so you can have a better view of my brows. So I'm first going to wet my spoolie. Yeah. And then I'm going to take my bar soap, roll some soap onto my brush. You can see quite a bit of soap on there, but nothing too crazy. Don't make it all clumpy. So I'm going to brush my brows upwards. Fluffy, bold brows are so on trend these days and it's gonna stay on trend for a while. I feel like the soap thickens the brows, like it gives it some, a little something something to hold on to, so it makes them fluffier. Even though I'm using white bar soap, I don't see my brows turning white, and I feel like right now my brows are fluffier, it's going the direction I want it to go, and it's also getting tackier sticking to my skin a little. So I'm gonna go in with my Anastasia powder first. This is their medium brown brow powder duo. I'm gonna go in with a lighter shade. It's like a taupey color. And using an angled brush, I'm just going to create more hair-like strokes. Next, I'm gonna go in with my Anastasia brow wiz. This is in the shade Caramel. Oh yeah, it definitely feels very different. Like right now when I'm running my pencil through it, it doesn't feel like it usually does. I can actually feel the texture of my hair, the soap. And the great thing is you can't see the soap residue though, which is good. And it really lays the brow hairs down flat. Like it's not sticking up. Because my brow hairs, if I don't trim them regularly, they go Wah! all crazy like having a party up there, so right now it's really tame. I'm just running my finger on it and it feels like I have brow gel on, that's all it feels like. It doesn't feel wet or weird. Just like when you're trying to texturize and thicken your hair to make it more voluminous, it's the same effect. I really like the look of this. What do you guys think? I really like how fluffy and bold it makes my brows like i have so much more brow hairs it's sort of different from the instagram brows because the instagram brows is also very intense and bold but it's more drawn on kind of look whereas this one is more of a natural fluffy look which is going to be really really on trend this coming year have you guys tried this bar soap technique if you have let me know what you think in the comments if you haven't give it a shot because it's really fun and makes your brows look so good so Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!